Hello, boys and girls. Today I'll be reading to you Over and Under the Snow by Kate Messner. I don't know about you, but I like snow, so I am excited to read this story to you today. Over the snow I glide into woods frosted fresh and white. Over the snow, a flash of fur, a red squirrel disappears down a crack. Where did he go? Under the snow, Dad says. Under the snow is a whole secret kingdom where the smallest forest animals stay safe and warm. You're skiing over them right now. Over the snow I glide, past beech trees rattling leftover leaves and strong silent pines that stretch to the sky. On a high branch, a great horned owl keeps watch. Under the snow, a tiny shrew dodges columns of ice. It follows a cool tunnel along the moss out of sight. Look, Dad says, tracks. Tracks always tell a story. Over the snow, a deer has crossed our path. Deep hoof prints punch through the crust, up the hill under a tree. An oval of melted snow tells a story of a good night's sleep. Under the snow, deer mice doze. They huddle up and cuddle up against the cold in a nestle of feathers and fur. Over the snow I climb, digging in my edges so I don't slide backward. Under the snow, voles scratch through the slippery tunnels, searching for morsels from summer feasts. Over the snow, I swoosh, down, down, faster, faster, down, faster and faster. Whoops, here I slide. Under the snow, a snowshoe hare watches from a shelter of spruce. Almost invisible, she smooths her fur, a coat of winter white. Over the snow I glide, past reeds where tadpoles play ta tag in the springtime. Under the snow, fat bullfrogs snooze. They dream of sun-worn days back when they had tails. Over the snow, I stand and stare. Little mountains in the marsh. Under the snow, beavers gnaw on aspen bark, settled in for supper. Can they hear my tummy rumbling too? Over the snow, stop, a sound. We stand like statues carved in ice till a bushy-tailed fox steps from the thicket. He tips his ear to the ground and listens, listens, listens still, and leaps out onto the snow after an invisible dinner. His paws scratch away to find the mouse he heard scritch, scritch, scratching under the, underneath, under the snow. Over the snow I glide, a full moon lights my path to supper. Under the snow, a chipmunk wakes for a meal. Bedroom, kitchen, hallway. His house is underneath my feet. Over the snow I climb one last hill. Bonfire smoke rises. Warm hands, hot cocoa, hot dog sizzling on pointed sticks. Under the snow, a black bear snores, still full of October blueberries and trout. Over the snow, the fire crackles and sparks shoot up to the stars. I lick sticky marshmallow from my lips and lean back with heavy eyes. Shadows dance in the flames. Under the snow, a bumblebee drowses away December all alone. She'll rule a new colony in the spring. Over the snow, I glide home on tired legs. Clouds whisper down feathery soft flakes. Under the covers, I snuggle deep and drift into dreams of cuddly deer mice and slumbering frogs. Hungry beavers and tunneling bulls, drowsy bears and busy squirrels, and the secret kingdom under the snow. The end. 
Boys and girls, this was a wonderful book about snow, and I sure do hope that you can come to Jones Family Farms and enjoy harvesting your own Christmas tree, possibly even in the snow. From all the farmers here at Jones Family Farms, thank you for listening to Storytime. We hope to see you visiting our farms and participating in bringing in the harvest. Our website is the best resource to answer questions regarding any of the seasons on our farm.